Bearhawk LSA build update, February the 16th, 2022. All right, we've made some progress this week. Take around here. I have been installing uh, everything that I need to to cover fabric and probably a couple extra things. The, the rear window frames are installed, riveted in, fuel lines, got those all in place. I use tie wraps to secure mine. This is an extremely light bill. Well, as extreme as I can get it. The tubing where it contacts the 4130 structure is wrapped with a PVC pipe wrap and then gaffer's tape. And in the past, I've used it on some ultralights and, and the gaffer's tape and other things, and it's held up extremely well. We're going to find out. Um, here is my fuel selector that's installed. You can see there's several holes in there. I have drilled lightning holes everywhere I can, lighten things up. Uh, one of the other things that I've done, I like to camp out of my airplane and I pile stuff in the seats and the baggage everywhere and my last airplane, it interfered with the stick, so I couldn't carry as much. So I've cut this one off, and uh, I'm going to pin one on with a clevis pin whenever I need it. Uh, the good thing is I am shaving off 2.1 ounces because I'm using an aluminum stick instead of the 4130 above that. This is just for passenger and not for me. Um, I'm getting the controls in. They're not quite in place yet. Getting all the proper hardware. I'll be finishing all that up this week and next week to hopefully start covering the bottom of the fuselage the following. Uh, my goal is to be done with the fabric on the fuselage by the end of March. That's a, that's a big goal, but that's what I've set. Um, currently, I am... Getting the aluminum I need to make the inspection covers for the tail attach. Those are not in place yet. Next video, you'll see those. I've got the rudder on right now just so I can figure out where my holes will need to go through. I'm going to make some little reinforcement plates for where the, the rudder cables come through the, the fabric. I've installed, as you see, the rudder cables are installed, the trim cables installed, all the fair leads are installed. Fun fact on the fair leads. If you'll notice, it, these are, they're split. They've got a little ring here that secures them. Easy way to install those. Slide one half in all the way snap the clip on it where the opening is facing the area where you haven't slid the second half in. Take the second half, push it in, hold the clip, snaps right in place. Easiest way I've found to put them on. If you know of an easier way, let me know. That's your fun fact for the day. Anything else? Uh, I have some fuel lines I've still got to collect, connect to the selector. I have not tightened any of my fuel lines, so I'm going to have to do that, torque them all down. They do have fuel lube on the threads to make it easy and no galling. Uh, you got to be careful not to get fuel lube on, on the thread, on the uh, actual contact points, so we don't want any of that in the system. Other than that, that's where I am at at this time. And that's this week's update. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.